These daily guided meditations for transcendence are brought to you for free. If you enjoy them and would like to support the channel, you can hop on www.buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H, and buy me a coffee or join one of our memberships to enjoy some exclusive perks such as private posts, videos, and podcasts. That's buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Hello dear meditators, welcome back to yet another guided meditation. Today is day 53 out of our 100 days guided meditation challenge. I'm so honored to be part of your journey. Thank you so much for meditating here every single day. 53 days, that's quite an achievement. I hope you're celebrating yourself. I am celebrating you and I would like to offer you in honor of this challenge a 50% discount on my new extensive course on meditation and transcendence subtitled a superpower for the mind body and soul 50 percent discount you can get it by following the link in the description below the video or in the show notes if you're listening to this on the podcast and if you're one of the first 100 members to join our meditation course you will get the opportunity to get a one-on-one session with myself on zoom so check it out in the description to the video below it's limited in people and in time so Have a look if you want to, but first, let's meditate, making sure we won't be disturbed during the entirety of the meditation, approximately 25 minutes plus a few minutes for contemplation at the end, where I will share a quote with you and we'll talk about it, maybe we'll think about it together, and we will start a conversation in the comment section. I would like us to be a group of friends here, a little community, more than me just monologuing to you, even if this is kind of the concept of YouTube, right? Sitting nice and comfortably, it can be on a chair, it can be on a sofa, it can be directly on the floor, as long as you're able to sit nice and tall, nice and straight, with dignity, with pride, shoulders relaxed, finding the center of gravity, closing our eyes. We start each of these meditations by dedicating it to someone. The way we do this is quite easy, eyes closed, hands to the heart, either in a praying position or hands on the chest, deep inhale in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, gratitude and appreciation towards that person. In a few moments, you will be introduced to a sound, a vibration. You will put your focus and attention on that vibration and you will follow that vibration during the entirety of this meditation session. You'll do this as gently, softly and effortlessly as possible, keeping the sound on the foreground of your mind. When thoughts come, don't engage your ego, don't engage your judgments. This is perfectly normal, it is perfectly natural, it is part of the process of meditation. So don't judge your meditation session, don't judge yourself, your ability to meditate, and don't judge the thoughts. Don't try to categorize the thoughts, and certainly don't try to eliminate the thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking, go back to the sound as gently, as softly, as effortlessly as possible, putting the sound back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the sound fades out, let it resonate in your own mind for a few extra moments, keeping it alive, reproducing it in your mind.
You may now let go of the vibration. The meditation is over. Get reacquainted to the sensations in your body. If you need to start moving, please do so. Whenever you're ready, take a nice deep breath, open your eyes. Stay there as you get reacquainted to the environment around you. I would like to give you a quote for you to contemplate on and you can let me know in the comment section how you resonate with this quote. I would like you to think about it during the day, to journal about it if you want. It is by Marcus Aurelius. He gives us great advice here. Remember that he used to write in his meditations, which was his personal journal. It was never meant to be read by anybody. But he told himself, and he was you know, the most powerful man in the world, Emperor of Rome, he said, if it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. Sometimes we tend to victimize ourselves a little bit too much. It happens to everybody. And that's okay to a certain extent, as long as this doesn't create too much suffering and too much of taking away the responsibility or ability to respond to adversity. This is a downward spiral that can lead to depression because you start losing the trust in yourself, you start losing confidence in your ability to act. In the ability in your ability to endure in your in your own strength in your own courage so in order to build self-love in order to build courage and in order to build self-trust we must sometimes train ourselves to endure a little bit more than we might be used to let me know how this resonates with you in the comment section below let's start the conversation Thank you so much for being here. My name is Raphael. I see you. I appreciate you. I feel you. I'm so glad to be with you during those meditations. Thank you so much for joining us. If those meditations are good to you and you would like to share them with friends or people that might benefit from them, then please do so. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Press the like button. This helps people finding us. Check out the links in the description below in the show notes if you're listening to this on the podcast for the course, for ways of contacting me to sign up to the weekly letter and more and more and more. Check it out. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, take care.